Hey everyone, thank you for attending another episode of the Black Christian Geek. Uh, I said earlier in the month when I gave my first impression of Windows 11, I actually started using it last week in August, but I would give um, my final assessment or review. Today is the last day of the month of September. Windows 11 will be officially released on October 5th, Tuesday of next week, so I'm still using an early release copy of the software. All the thoughts and ideas my own. This is not uh, a paid advertisement and I'm not sponsored in any way. All these thoughts are, are my own. So let's, let's get into it and I'll give you <clears throat> my thoughts and assessments. First, um, I, I'll, I'll start with what I don't like so much and then we'll get into the good stuff. If you have not or you do not use other operating systems, what I'm about to say next is going to make little sense to you and probably makes little difference to anybody else. But nevertheless, here in the drive space, they still have CDP. They still have drive letters to identify drives <coughs> instead of just names. So you see here shared data is what I call that shared folder that I have mapped as a drive and my P drive folder, of course, I have mapped map to P. But there's just no need for a drive letter. It's just archaic uh, and a bit antiquated to me, but nevertheless, it's something that is carried over from as long as I can remember from DOS days when you go into the C prompt. But nevertheless, that's one thing that I don't necessarily like that they have Windows 11 that carried over. And two, now the, that we're in the file explorer here for navigating files, there is still no tab browsing. I, I'm sorry, uh, tabs, right, for browsing files is what I meant to say. Just like we have, um, and I'll show you what I mean, just using Firefox. You see here, you can click tab and you can open up a second tab window or a third tab window. And in other operating systems, you can largely do the same thing with file navigation, but still not in Windows 11. They originally had it in Windows 10 and they pulled it before the release. And for the life of me, I, I, don't, I don't know why it's so difficult to get tab browsing added to file navigation, but nevertheless, we didn't get it. So I, I pretty much purpose to, to leave my, my gripes to those two. So now on to more pluses and improvements. What has improved? Multiple desktops. So you see desktop one, desktop two. And one of the things uh, that I mentioned in a previous video that I really like is that you can change or specify, uh, make it dramatically different, that you can change the desktops. And arguably you say, what, what would be the big deal from having one desktop to the next? As I said also in a previous video, if you're in school, graduate school, high school, what have you, but if you're using your machine for multiple things, if you work or in school, you can have different things on different desktops. And even in the Linux environment, Windows does a much better job. If you look down here, I can have a complete separate instance of Internet Explorer running on this second desktop compared to uh, the first one. And same with uh, Firefox, or if I wanted to open up something totally different, or say if I open up the, the calculator here, all of that resides on this second desktop. So when I go back to the first, none of that, and you see the calculator is not open here, is affected. So I think, again, if, you, if you've never used other operating systems, you may not be familiar with using multiple desktops, but it's something that I think in Windows 11, for the first time, Windows users may actually embrace and start using more. That's a huge plus. What has improved? Number two, just a general, much cleaner look. 
as I said for uh, these are test files. Test one, you see here we got cut clearly with scissors, copy, paste, and rename. So if we wanted to re rename that, let's say uh, another test. I think it's just easier. And then the same with the trash can with the icons listed the way they are, the ability to search just an overall cleaner look pressing the, the start button and seeing the panels, just an overall cleaner look and easier to navigate uh, the files and things that come up. And, and number three was the, the easier to, to navigate. And the fourth one, I'll, I'll open up several windows to show the difference here. So I'll open up the calculator here. That's for, I'm gonna open up Chrome. And now that we have several windows open, say if I just wanted to focus on this, uh, there are more tricks underneath the surface like shaking. And if I grab and shake this window, it automatically minimizes the other windows to help me concentrate on just this. And if I shake it again, the other windows reappear in the background. So just li little things like that are just neat tricks. So if you just really needed to focus on your calculator and if you had something uh, perhaps playing in the background that, that was uh, a distraction, whatever it is, and you just like that video playing and you just really need to focus on the calculator that you're using, just a gentle shake and everything gets minimized. And when you're finished using it and you're ready to bring it back up, just shake it again and it brings those windows back up. And of course, you can minimize them uh, manually yourself like, like you uh, normally would just press the, the, the minimize buttons. Um, this is just a brief video. I just wanted to come back and touch it. And I actually wrote my summary out and I will post this in the description and try to do it in like a formal review. But long time Windows users are in for a real treat. The first time I installed Windows 11, immediately after installation, I said, I can't believe that Microsoft is trying to make me love Windows. I can say that I have truly enjoyed using Windows over the last five weeks and will at least occasionally continue to use it. Probably won't become my, my daily driver because after 20 years I actually switched to Linux and primarily use um, versions of Arch Linux in, in, in Dever OS, but I'll stay focused on Windows for, for my final summation for this review. It is an upgrade uh, over Windows 10, and Lord knows it's a huge jump from Windows 7 and Windows 8. Microsoft has done well to make Windows 11 a free upgrade. Therefore, it's really no reason not to upgrade, and it makes it an easy recommendation for me to recommend it for people once it becomes available. They start rolling it out next Tuesday, but they're projecting to roll it out over several months, so it may be uh, early spring or late spring before it's available for you, but nevertheless, it will start rolling out on Tuesday of next week. Although I have been using a early release version of the operating system, I have found it to be both stable and reliable. And after being a Mac user for over 20 years, uh, there was a common saying that we would often say, once you go Mac, you never go back. Well, after using um, Windows 11, I say this is the first time I have used Windows that made me at least think twice about going back. But simply put, Windows 11 is functionally beautiful and fun to use. With that, um, I wish you well. I'm looking forward to, to seeing your comments in the description down below. If what I've said uh, in this video has helped you at all, consider subscribing, sharing the video with others, giving a thumbs up. If it has not benefited you, um, give, give me an opportunity and, and come back 
and and give me another chance move, moving forward. I hope to start releasing at least one video a week for the Black Christian Geek of my heart's desire is, although this is therapeutic for me, I want it to be beneficial and helpful for you also. Thanks for listening. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.